Welcome folks, let's talk about Warner Brothers Discovery and uh, their DEI initiative. Yes, their diversity, equity and inclusion, uh, or just sanctioned racism and sexism, I guess is more accurate. Because that's basically what it is. Um, now, I think this is a shame because I think when David Zaslav took over Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers Discovery, a lot of people, myself included, was like, great, we're going to start to see some real changes happening. Uh, and, you know, we have seen some real changes happening. There has been some really decent changes, actually. They've done some relatively good stuff. And the cash flow that they have shows that as well. But then we get stuff like this. Uh, whereas they still have a DEI officer. What are you doing? Checking people's genitals and stuff like this? It's not relevant. It's not relevant to the work you do. And clearly, when businesses are failing... Something's not right. Something's not working. Should probably focus more on meritocracy than what's flapping between your legs or what is not flapping between your legs. Or where you choose to put said thing between your legs. Um, so let's take a look because this, these comments are insane to say the least. Uh, so hit subscribe if you're new here. Turn the bell notifications on. And please do, ladies and gents, if you want to support the channel. Check out my merch store, mrhshop.com. There's some really fun designs on there. Some brand new designs. Some not so new stuff, but stuff that you guys have liked in the past. So check it out. It's linked down below. Anyway. The DEI officer. Officer. The officer of diversity, equity and inclusion. There's a chief one. You know what's so annoying about that? Well, one, that position should never exist anyway. But the fact that there's a chief means that there's underlings. What a redundant position in any business. Anyway, so uh, their officer of DEI endorses discriminating against employees who disagree with the ideological movement of diversity, equity, inclusion. They'll leave themselves, which is great, is the quote. There's a little bit more than that, obviously. But, I mean, this stuff is crazy. The, the action alone of promoting DEI is racism and sexism. That is what it is. These individuals only see immutable characteristics as, you know, a benefit or a detriment. That's sexist and racist. I mean, that's just what it is. Um, you know, colour me shocked. Pun intended. Uh, anyway, we'll dive into this. <laughs> Take a look. So, according to Warner Brothers Discovery, David Zaslav, get rid of this fucking numb nuts. Or they're not doing anything good for your business. So the diversity, the, the chief diversity, equity and inclusion officer, Asif Sadiq, uh, basically says that companies seeking to foster a culture of DEI should not seek to compromise with those employees who disagree with the concept of identity politics, but actually should outright discriminate against them until they quit. So we now know clearly wh where Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League came from. So Sadiq who tends to refer to himself as Dr. Sadiq, uh, despite his doctorate bestowed upon him by the UK's Open University in recognition of his extensive DEI work, being nothing more than an honorary one, so he's not a doctor, uh, offered his endorsement of this strategy while speaking to attendees of the Aspen Institute of Business and Policy Links February 20th, the Future of DEI in Corporate America webinar. Just as an FYI, I am really sorry if this person is British, he obviously attended the Open Uni, which is a UK thing. So, just as, a, as an aside, sorry that this British person is uh, here doing these things. So, per a clip of the event shared to Twitter by user Memology101, the topic of how to deal with employees who might disagree with the company's turn to DEI was first... I mean, heaven forbid there be a bit of democracy... Uh, was first touched upon by one of the webinar's other panellists, Glodman Sachs. It's Goodman Sachs, isn't it? Uh, Chief Diversity Officer Megan Hogan. So, recalling her recent attendance at an unspecified and off-the-record roundtable of CDE, CDOs, Chief Diversity Officers, Hogan informed her fellow panellists one of the things that came up was the frustration of having to work with or persuade the most powerful person in your ecosystem that the work is worth it. It's not worth it. And they should reveal themselves more. They should take a bigger role for whatever it is. And we came up with this strategy. 
find your people and ignore the person you cannot persuade. What? So Warner Brothers Discovery Chief DEI Officer Dr. Asif Sadiq promotes, and this is what Memeology said, uh, not working with, ignoring, and discriminating against employees who, don't, who do not support their wank agenda. So it, they continued further. This is the Goldman Sachs, uh, or Goodman Sachs, Goldman, I can't remember anyway. Uh, you know exactly who, you, who they are, and if you can't bring yourself to ignore them altogether because of your professional orientation, give it 30 days. Ignore them for 30 days. Don't take the bait. Don't send them the clip. Don't send them the newsletter. Don't send them the pitch deck. Just focus on the people who are willing to do the work. Willing to do the work. Do you see how, how it's... Like, this is a cult. It absolutely is a cult. Who are willing to do the, the work of what? DEI? Oh, bow before you, DEI. The old god. Ridiculous. Uh, the new arrivals to the work. The new leaders who are preparing to be better allies. Fuck off. This is so indoctrination. This is such a cult. To be more vulnerable, to communicate better, and find your people even outside of your organisation who can help you fine-tune, who can help you make sure you're not reading the situation wrong and let you know that you're not alone. Just as an FYI, and I think it's important to note, if anyone disagrees with me on any of these things, please do just look around at the world and ask yourself, is everyone happier now that they've focused on immutable characteristics than when they did not? Hmm? Hmm? People are miserable, and this is part of it. You know, because you've got a dick, that's right, we're going to discriminate against you. You know, because you're black, we're going to discriminate for you. All this kind of nonsense is garbage. Uh, but absolutely do not get caught up into the spin cycle of trying to persuade the most powerful person that you know who is not interested to be interested because they're not coming. 30 days, you can do it. Anyway, Warner Brothers Discovery continued and says you'll never convince them. You can try up until the end of eternity, and it will still not happen. We waste so much energy doing that sometimes. Yet, will we waste money paying you as individuals, whether you're in a leadership position or on a team and so on? Uh, Sadiq then uh, called on companies to ignore any employees who might disagree with de DEI ideology. He said, focus on the ones who want to change, because that way you start changing culture. And if you change culture, often those people who don't want to come around will start saying, this place isn't the way it used to be. And they'll leave themselves, which is great. Right. So, just subvert the entire business until people choose to leave. That's pretty scummy. Especially considering those people could be really good workers, but these people don't care about workers, they care about immutable characteristics. Uh, continued further, rather than focusing on those things you can't impact or can't change, focus focusing on those things you can impact and you can change is so important. Even when we're trying to look at, potentially, what sort of programs, things we're doing. I think it's a great opportunity to double down our efforts on things, to do an audit of what's worked and what hasn't. Where do we put more effort into? Where do we reduce effort? So don't necessarily see reducing or changing something as a negative. It can be a positive. It's how you create that mindset. This person is scum. This whole stuff is scum. Uh, and it's no wonder that they made Suicide Squad kill the Justice League. And it's no wonder that they hired Sweet Baby Inc. So, just as an FYI, uh, my thoughts are Warner Brothers Discovery. They can go fuck themselves for quite a while now. Because no business should have a chief officer of diversity, equity, and inclusion. It is a redundant role. And it's just sanctioned racism and sexism. So, there you go. Thoughts down below. Take care. Bye-bye now.